Yo, 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 this is Chris. I just was on this live stream and then somehow it just died on me. I don't know what happened there. I'm actually at the gym. Put this out. I'm not joking. I'm really at the gym. Okay. I like to do these videos when I feel the moment because it's about passion when you do these videos. So whether I'm at the gym like I am right now, park, restaurant, wherever I am, I just, I just do it. I just go for it. Okay. So, um, there's a, po there's a couple of things that happened this morning that, that really um, led up to doing these videos. Usually there's something that happens that prompts me to do these videos. Um, so in a Facebook group, um, a big Facebook group uh, dedicated mostly to dropshipping. Um, they do, they've also do some friends of them, but it's mostly about dropshipping from China and stuff and you know, doing e-commerce and stuff like that. There's a guy who said he did some, you know, thousands of $60 orders um, he scaled up the product quite quickly and he, you know and then the China supplier finally started getting the product to the, to the customers and you know uh, three weeks two or three weeks have gone by and he's been selling since long and discovered that he's getting a boatload of disputes uh, huge claims emails complaining to customers that the, the product is actually being delivered to the customer is different or doesn't look even close to the images that was on um, AliExpress. Um, then I also, just ironically, it was like literally within 20 minutes of each other, a friend of mine um, who um, I know from an event uh, messaged me say, Chris, I'm screwed. I'm just screwed. And I said, what's going on? He goes, well, I have, I'm having to close my Shopify store. I'm going to have to, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just screwed. I'm just going to have to close it down. And, you know, I, I'm going to move on to a new store. I'm going to do my best to mitigate my losses. But uh, I have about $25,000 in custom I have to refund because uh, one of my suppliers in China sent out uh, uh, 500 canvases that were uh, bad. He paid $8,000 for fulfillment. So he paid the $8,000 for fulfillment. He can't get that money back. Plus, he's got to refund the customers on top of their order. It's five hundred, so that's about twenty-five thousand dollars. So it's, a, it's combined almost thirty-five thousand dollar loss that he's taking. He's eating. Um, obviously, he's trying to figure out ways to try to mitigate that as much as possible. But anyway, this, that's that's massive, guys. And then the other thing about this is, guys, think about this: on your dropship store from China, how many repeat customers do you have? How many repeat customers do you have? I remember when I was dropped in 2015, our repeat customer rate was less than 1%. Less than 1%. That's what inspired me to realize, you know what, this business model, I mean, why am I paying traffic, paid traffic, to bring a customer to my business, right, and just get them to buy from me once, and not get them to buy from me again, okay? That's a horrible business model. What kind of business model can operate on the premise of always having to bring in new customers? I mean, think about it. I mean, even in, in the extreme cases, you can sell a lot. The human population is still limited, right? There's only so many people in the, on the world, right? Even if, you, if, you have, if you're lucky and you have a product that goes global, but the reality is most of the people are just selling in the United States, maybe Canada, and you got a niche, right? And you're focused on that niche, and there's only some people in that niche, right? So if you don't deliver good quality customers, right? Of course, products to your customers, they're not gonna come back and buy from you. You don't deliver them in a timely manner. So I realized that the print on demand model was the hundred percent way to go. In 2016, I began 2016, I closed down my my dropship store and I went hundred percent on demand. And yes it's harder. I'm not gonna lie to you. Print on demand is tougher. Which is why I spent a lot of time thinking about and analyzing and learning how to develop good quality products. In my e-com course guys I put together as it's actually almost done. It's 98% done. I got like two or three more videos that. There's 14 webinars and 41 videos done. There's three and a half hours of training dedicated to coming up with ideas for print on demand. There's about 20, 30 minutes dedicated to a little bit of some dropshipping ideas I've, I've done in the past that work for people. But I focus on most on print on demand and I encourage it and I push the idea of going print on demand. Why? Because faster service, better quality, quality control. The customer is more likely to be satisfied to come back to you. Plus, here's the other thing, guys: originality of your own ideas, right? It's so much easier for someone to copy you when all they have to do is go to AliExpress and grab it, right? But with print on demand, you know, that's not the case. That's not the case, right? They have to be able to make the design. They have to know about your idea in the first place, right? Plus, guys, if you think that there's a limited number of products you can sell on print, you think it's just T-shirts, you're absolutely wrong. 
These days, one cut, one supplier I work with has 400 different types of products that they sell, right? 400, right? And it's increasing daily. They're adding more and more and more, and there's other suppliers out there. Right now, you can sell anything from dog leashes to t-shirts to hats to shoes, all print on demand. And the thing about it is, it's not limited by the finite number of products that you've got on, on AliExpress or eBay. It's open to your imagination on the creative ideas you have. And you need to know what you're doing to find those ideas, which is why I, one of my goals when I'm in this course is to look, there's no course that really, really teaches people how to find products, right? Really how to create products. So I dedicated three and a half hours of that in my course. And I think there's some people in this video who are in my course. And if you guys want to make a comment on what you think of the quality of the course, that'd be awesome. Plus there's Facebook traffic, there's, there's uh, you know, my micro ad strategy, which has been working for people. It's, it's, it's completely different than what most people teach in micro ads. It's all based on a, running a large number of micro ads, which I teach you how to create them and analyze them and keep the ones that are working and kill the ones that are not fast so you, you stay in the profit. We have SEO, so if you want to build the value of your website long term, it's got to have your search engine optimized, right? And that's important, right? We got Twitter section, we've got YouTube. It's a full complete course. I'm gonna put the list of all the videos in this, uh, in the comments there below. But if you're interested in this course, uh, private message me, you can still get it for the beta price. 2500 is going to be the price when it launches when I'm done, which I got some tweaks to do still. I mean, I'm not completely satisfied. So, but when I complete this course and get the sales page up, it'll be 2500 You can get in for now for less than half that. Okay? Cheers. Private message me, and I encourage you to go away from dropshipping as soon as possible.